Well, hello, it's time to continue reading my new ebook, which is called The Empty Nest Road Trip Blues, an interactive journal from a dad's point of view. It's funny, it looks like my lips are not in sync with my mouth. That reminds me of Singing in the Rain. Do you remember those scenes? No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. So, The Empty Nest Road Trip Blues. Uh, we are going to go on to Chapter 4, Day 4, Trucks, Windmills, and Satellite Radio. We were on the road again, heading towards Omaha, Nebraska, a short 500-mile or so jaunt. What was another 8 to 10 hours of driving? Online, I found what seemed to be a cool vegan restaurant in Omaha, so we headed there for dinner. At that point, we agreed to decide at dinner if we had the energy to go on to Des Moines, Iowa, since it would get us that much closer to Chicago, our next stop, and we wanted to have some less harried time there. We'd sort of worked out two-hour rotating driving shifts. I tended to write, text, and check and respond to email on my iPhone when I wasn't driving, while Arnie tended to listen to music and or sleep. I decided to break my vegan diet for some of that infamous Chicago deep dish pizza. Up to this point, I'd been pretty good sticking to it. Not easy when you're on the road. The country we drove through in Colorado was flat, boring, and seemingly endless. Kind of funny, this is a side note. <laughs> when you think of Colorado, you don't think of flat. My second shift of driving ended as we were heading through Nebraska to Omaha. Taking two-hour driving shifts really made this sort of long, boring, kind of cross-country trip palatable. Also, listening to music helped, which I did much more on this trip than usual for me. I really had fun singing and rocking the 60s, 70s, and 80s classics. What is fun about satellite radio is that they have such a large, diverse playlist versus traditional radio, which often seems to rotate a very short, let's please everybody, repetitive playlist. Some of the songs that were notable to me were Arizona by Mark Lindsay. That's Paul Revere of Paul Revere and the Raiders. Aquarius by The Fifth Dimension from the musical Hair, of course. Last Song by Edward Bear. Hurt So Bad by The Letterman. And a sort of gospel version of Just Pretend by Elvis that I'd never heard before. When I was driving, Arnie was usually zoned out with his headphones, oblivious to my incredible song styling. It didn't matter because I had no problem entertaining myself. Driving through the cornfields of Iowa became intoxicating. The rolling fields and endless curving rows of corn were beautiful. I kept on wondering what it would look like from the air and if we would see any of those crop circles. As we left the city, we passed a big truck carrying what we surmised to be one of the three arms of a solar windmill. It was remarkably big, and later when we saw these windmills dotting the landscape, we realized it was indeed one of the arms, and its size was startling. We ended up staying at a nameless city long forgotten by us near Des Moines. Finding hotels on the fly like this was becoming easy and second nature to us. You'll note at this point in the book, if you're actually reading the book or looking at it, of course, on your e-reader, uh, two photos, one of that truck carrying the arm of the windmill, and then below it a series of those windmills dotting the landscape. And that, my friends, is the end of chapter four. They're short, they're sweet, they're filled with pictures, and like I said, the cost of this book is less than the cost of a latte at your local coffee place. So I hope you'll buy it, I hope you'll share it, and I hope you'll let me know what you think and post a review on Amazon, which would be greatly appreciated. Goodbye, chapter five comes next. And what is chapter five? Chapter five is called Day Five, Chicago, Chicago, that toddling town. Goodbye for now.